Hey guys, it's Jessica from ExpressionsVinyl.com and today I want to show you how we created our extra large vinyl um, wall decal that we put in Lindsay's office. So that is a different video. Check that out on YouTube um, if you want to see the installation of it. It was huge and it was really fun. It looks awesome on our wall. So this over here is what I want to show you how I did. This one over here uh, is the big giant thing that we need to break into smaller pieces so we can run it through our silhouette cameo. Um, as you can see over here, this white part is a 12 by 12 mat, and this right here is a little bit bigger than that. So I'll show you how to break it up. Uh, the first thing I want to do is make some guidelines. If you see these little stripes here, when I do the installation of the vinyl onto the wall, I line those up so they're exactly lined up and I can get my words on straight. So I'm just going to go over here to the draw a rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I want it to go down pretty much the whole length of my piece and it just needs to be a thin line. And I'm going to get it as close in there as I can uh, without touching my other letters that I already have set up. And then we are going to duplicate that. So I'm going to go up here to my replicate window and I'm going to duplicate right. And this just makes another one. You could also copy and paste. Either way is great. And I just want to set this up again as close to but not touching my other pieces. So I've got this running all the way down. And now I'm going to create a box. So I'm going to go up here again to the draw a rectangle and I am going to left click and then drag a box across this whole thing. And then I'm going to click on it and adjust it. So if I just hover over these little white boxes, uh, the little arrows will come up and I can drag my mouse and tighten up that box around my project. And this is just going to help me when I break this into pieces also keep everything lined up. It also helps um, as a weeding guide. So I'll show you that also in a little bit. So we're going to zoom out a little bit and close that down. And now my mat, I need to fix that. So I am using a roll of vinyl so I can cut up to like 120 inches, I believe. Uh, this is only, I only need about 50 or so inches. So I'm going to click up here on the open design page. My width is set at 12 and that's great. My height is also set at 12. So the width I'm going to change to 50 inches. And if I scroll over here you'll see that. And now I'm going to drag across this to select it and drag it down here to the mat to see if that's long enough. And it's plenty long. Okay, so I'm going to collapse this again and I am going to zoom in um, and I need to break it up. So the tallest I want to cut on my Cameo is probably about 11 and a half inches. 11 is a safe spot, 11 and a half, I wouldn't do more than that. So it looks like on my mat if I do it to the top it's going to cut into the great work part. So I'm just going to scoot it down a little bit and this is the first piece that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to go over here to my knife tool and I am using this Silhouette um, Studio Business Edition so I have a lot more choices here than just the regular edition but you don't need the business edition to do that. Uh, you just want a straight cut and you also want it to be clicked on solid and you'll have those in the in the basic edition of Silhouette Studio. So I've got my knife chosen. I'm going to click on my left mouse button and I am just going to drag this across. And you can see that little red line, that's where it's going to cut. And it takes a minute to process. So we'll wait for that for just a second. Okay, so now we're going to go up here and click on the arrow and we'll be able to pull this apart. So now this is a separate piece that we can cut and fit on our mat. So we'll pop this over here and then we'll click on this and drag it up and this is going to be the same 
same kind of situation. The is doesn't quite fit, but the great work will. So we'll just take, click on our knife tool and again cut right across. We want to make sure we're not going to cut into our letters at all, but that red line going across is where our machine will cut out the square. So we'll let that process for a second. Okay, so that is now cut apart and we will click on the arrow up here and we'll be able to drag this guy away and over here. Now this, is, this one's the same thing, it's really close. Um, and it looks like my arrow is really close too, so I can probably cut the is and the arrow out of the same piece. So we'll go ahead and cut those apart and then see if we can fit them on one piece. So normally it doesn't take this long to process, but I think where I'm running, uh, recording my screen and running the program, uh, my laptop's having a hard time keeping up. So normally in your own program, depending on your computer, it should be a little quicker. All right, so we'll click on our arrow, drag that guy away, cut our to love off, wait for that to process. All right, that's all done. So we'll go back up, click on our arrow, drag away the to love, and we're almost done. We just have two more pieces to cut apart. Take our knife, cut the last two in half. Okay, so now I wanna see if our is and our arrow will fit together and we can cut that in one shot. I'm gonna use a five yard roll of vinyl and it will probably use up most of the roll for this sign. So, so I'm gonna drag this one on. This is gonna be the first one I'm gonna cut. I should also mention um, this image. Lindsay found one on Pinterest that she really liked and then she created it, uh, changed up the fonts a little bit, uh, and then she created it in Silhouette Studio um, and gave the file to me and then I could cut it apart and make the guidelines here and the weeding lines, the boxes, the weeding boxes. So that is how you would cut apart these. Now I'm just gonna send it to my Silhouette um, using my normal vinyl settings. And then if you check in the next video, the installation of this and also weeding it because it's kind of a beast to weed so i've got some tips and stuff for you to weed it through so if you guys have any questions let us know in the comment section down below i hope you guys have a great day thanks